So this will be a quick little video on how to get a cup centered in the chuck so that you can work on the cup or the rim. It's going to be a quick video. It's not going to go over some of the big problems that you can have working on certain mouthpieces that are a lot of mouthpieces are off center. They're made off center and then when you try to get them in the chuck it can be a real pain. But I'm going to be using one of my blanks. Uh, this was a, a mouthpiece that I messed up and made the wrong size, but see how it says good? That means it's still a good blank, and I can make something out of it. The 27 means it's a 27 throat, and uh, that that says L1 in there, which meant that that was an L1 cup, but whoever I was making it for it didn't want an L1 cup. So anyway, see how the, the rim is totally flat, because the rim is not made, but the cup has been cut, so I can either make it deeper or keep it or it's good. It's still a good blank. It's not garbage. So I'm going to put it in the chuck and get it straight. Show you how to do that. See how there's a flat spot right here. Well, you need a flat spot to make it easy to get into the chuck and almost all mouthpieces that are made now have the flat spot in this area. And that's how it was gripped in the chuck when it was made. Some old mouthpieces like old box and Bert Herrick's and others are hard to get in the chuck because there's no good flat spot. But this is going to be an easy one so I'm going to stick it in there and show you how to get the uh, indicator here to tell you if it's perfectly straight. So here we go. We just kind of slap it in there. Wiggle a little bit to make sure that it's kind of good. Don't do it too tight, just tight enough to, sh to hold it. Now my indicator tip is mounted to the cross slide, so when I move the wheels, it moves in and out. And I'll just put it in here, and it's at center height. And I'll just get the edge of the in inner, you know, a little bit down into the cup. And till it touches. When it touches, I'm going to put it on the zero, and then I'm going to spin it a little bit, and it'll tell me how far out I am. Whoa, way out. So that means that when I, when I put it in the jack, I didn't, it was like massively off, which is fine. So I can see already, oh yeah, it was, wasn't even close to right. So here we go again. Set that baby back to zero. I'm gradually getting the tip of the indicator to touch the, okay. So see how far off we are? A whole bunch, which is fine. I just threw it in there. Now I'm going to go as far one way as I can right there. I'm going to give it a tiny little tap with a hammer. Get about half, half of that taken up much better. Now I'm going to, just so I can see a little better, I'm going to adjust this position to zero again. So now I'm two, two thousandths off, which isn't too bad, but I want to get it really great. So I'm going to take half of the, half of that out. And now I'm about less than one thousandth off. So, once again, to make it easier to see what's happening, I'm going to adjust this to zero now. By the way, the big numbers are one thousandth, and the little clicks are one ten thousandth. The general rule is if you get it to one thousandth, you're good. And it looks like, see the variation? I'm going from about a half a thousandth off right there. I'm going to make it easier to see it up so from there to there, that's one thousandth. So now when I get all the way to this end, I'm going to take half of that away. Now I have to about a, a half of, there we go. Didn't take much. Ooh, look at that. Now I am a half a thousandth. Maybe still closer to three quarters of a thousandth. So here we go, another little tap. Oh, ho, 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 ho. look at that. Now I have about two ten thousandths.
which is great. A thousandth, ten ten thousandths would be good. So I'm going to tighten it up a little bit now. So now I'm tightening the check. And I go, it's really important to do all three of the tightening spots. You know, not just one. Hit them all about the same. And get it not quite tight yet, because we might have to change. Sometimes when you tighten it, it changes things. So, look at that. One ten thousandth of an inch. Concentricity. Now I can tighten. Now I can tighten good and tight. But, you know, for a mouthpiece, you don't have to do super tight. Just tight. And so there, that's how you, that's how you get, that's an easy, good case scenario of getting a workpiece dialed into the chuck good. One ten thousandth of an inch. Great. And it was easy. I'll, I'll make another video of problematic things, but generally speaking, a modern mouthpiece with a good flat spot to grab it by you can get in the chuck at least as easy as what I just did. So there you go.